Welcome back to my Roadie Completion Guide for Control. This is episode eight. At the end of episode seven, we have picked up a bureau alert called Maintenance Major Targets. You can see that in the top left-hand side of the screen. I told you guys to go ahead and set up a safety save to make sure that we had enough time on the clock to complete this bureau alert. And as long as you set that up, you should have plenty of time to take out these hiss targets before the timer reaches zero. Now I want you guys to notice how easy this first enemy was. Notice I got credit in the top left for taking out a hiss target, but watch the orb. I didn't quite kill it. I got it down to about half health. Now I want you guys to notice the health signs that are showing up to the left of the health bars of all the enemies. That means as long as the orb is alive, the enemies will continuously get health. Now I can tell you guys from experience that as soon as you put damage on the orb for the first time, it's going to move to a new location. So the trick is to make sure that you have a full white center bar at the top, a full abilities bar, and then you want to launch two consecutive objects at the orb very fast. If you can do that, a lot of times you can kill it before it moves. So it's not the end of the world if you guys can't take the orb out, it's just going to take you a lot longer to kill these enemies, right, because they're constantly getting their health back. I also want you to notice that some of these enemies don't have names. Notice the enemy that I'm hitting now, he has a name over that upside down triangle. That's a his target. All the other enemies in the area without a name don't count. So if you really want to make this super efficient, you can focus exclusively on the enemies with names over their head, right? Go for those high value targets. As soon as you're able to kill enough of them, you guys will get credit. I'm just having fun there trying to kill that orb. But once you get credit for this mission, head back to the control point. Then I want you guys to load back up your safety save. You're going to see me do that now. I'm just showing you here that I got credit for that mission. There's my trophy first on the scene. Remember, we're getting two trophies right here. First on the scene, that's for completing one bureau alert and then crisis management for completing five bureau alerts. Now you might be wondering why I just went up the steps and headed toward that barricade. I just wanted to make sure that I had spawned in these hiss targets. Sometimes if you come from a safety save straight from that control point up to this area, there'll be no enemies, okay? You have to make sure that these enemies spawn in. So what you guys wanna do from the control point after your safety save is run over there toward that barricade, wait for the white text to show up on screen that says eliminate his targets, and then you know that these enemies are up here waiting on you. And I hope you guys were able to notice that I took the orb out extremely quick in this fight. I was able to rush it, I was super aggressive, I threw two objects at it before it was able to move, so now I don't have to worry about the enemies getting their health back. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the gameplay from here. This is the fifth time I've done this. So as soon as I kill all these his targets, I'll get the trophy crisis management. Then I want you guys to fast travel back over to central executive. All right, guys, we don't need to talk to Emily because we picked up our mission in the previous episode. You can see it in the top left, Old Boys Club. Let's just head to the elevator and take this to the research sector. So as soon as we get to central research, we're going to be attacked by a bunch of enemies. You guys can kill them however you want, and then I'll show you how to unlock the door so we can progress.
So in order to unlock the door, we need to destroy three hiss nodes. That's what a hiss node looks like, guys. If you hear me refer to that later on in the guide, that's the second one. The third one's going to be on the right. Make sure you gather all the materials in this area. Then we're going to go through the door. It's got a clearance level of three. It's called Parapsychology. It's to my right. You'll see it there. We have one more combat sequence I need you guys to get through. Then we have a control point on the other side. That's going to be your ninth control point out of 25. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. So in just a second, we're going to make it to a room and there's going to be an enemy in that room that we cannot kill. What we're going to need to do is trap it inside of a hallway so we can open up a door. OK, and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. There's two fuses on the ground. We're going to pick those fuses up just like we did back at the coolant pumps. There's going to be one here to your right as soon as you walk in just like that. You'll see the two uh, open circuits there to the left and the right of that gate. See the enemy that we can't kill. Basically, the enemy is always going to chase you. So wherever you want the enemy to go, just put yourself there first. It's always going to path behind you. There's the second fuse. And I want you guys to go under the gate and then wait for the enemy to come to you. So as soon as the enemy comes under the gate, I want you guys to take off down this hallway. You can use your evadeability if you want to to be a little bit quicker. Hit the button on this control panel. That's going to lock the enemy behind the gate and then open up the gate on the other side. Now we just want to follow this hallway until we get to another combat area. I want you guys to stay in the stairwell as long as possible. OK, take the orb out first like we talked about. Just go ahead and launch two objects at it. And then I want you guys to stay here as long as you can because you have the high ground. You have the tactical advantage. There will come a point, though, during this combat sequence where enemies to your right are going to start shooting rockets at you guys. At that point, you can stay up here if you want to, but it gets a little bit dicey. If I were you guys, I would move and do exactly what I do in the gameplay. But of course, you guys can play that out however you want to. As soon as we're done with this combat sequence, I'll come back in with some commentary. We're going to talk about how to start up a new mission called a captive audience, and then we're going to be picking up our 10th control point and that's going to give us the trophy ritual intuition
All right, guys, so in order to pick up our next side mission, it's called a captive audience. We need to run over here and grab this collectible. You'll see the yellow text on screen, a captive audience. Remember, you do not have to hit your touchpad to activate it. Just make sure that you guys pick up the collectible. Go ahead and cleanse your 10th control point. Remember, that's going to be 10 control points out of 25, and then you guys will be able to pick up the trophy, Ritual Intuition. Now my trophy was a little bit delayed when it popped, so I'm going to go ahead and run into the next room. You guys can do that if you want to. Uh, that's where we're going to be picking up everything in episode 9. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll see you right back here in the next one. Be good. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. 